Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the new collection releasing this Friday from Moonshine Manny. It's called Ono oh Hawaii and it's basically like a little food blog through Hawaii interpreted into nail polish. And so I'm really, really excited to share these things with you because I am a foodie. I really enjoyed my finally honeymoon 10th anniversary trip that I took with Tim. Yes, it was acting as our honeymoon and our 10th anniversary. And we got back a month ago, but all I've been thinking about since we left is how much fun we had, all the delicious treats we had, and I wanted to incorporate it and I wanted to incorporate that into a collection. So it's launching this Friday, March 11th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will put the link down in the description bar below for you if you'd like to go check out the website. Also launching on that day is our next Project Dupe It, this time inspired by OPI last Friday night. So we're gonna go over that first and then I will swatch through the collection. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's get into this live swatch. Like I said, we're going to start with Project Dupe It. So I was inspired by OPI last Friday night, as I mentioned. And my inspiration on this polish is called It's Friday Then, um, popularized by TikTok. I just love that song. It's a super hype jam. So I created an ultramarine jelly base, and I packed it full of the same sizes and approximately the same colors of beautiful, sparkly, iridescent glitters and this is just your perfect jelly layering polish as you layer this up in two to three coats you're going to get even more layers of those glitter sandwiched in there and it just looks so beautiful if you have a pretty uh, strong visible nail line you could certainly um wear this polish over moonshine mini all about that base opacity boosting base coat but i wanted to show it to you a few ways so first i showed you three coats on its own and it's so great for layering. You could also wear it as a topper. I put it over in the Pacific right here. I'm also gonna swatch it over a few polishes in the collection, which is what I'm showing you now. So you're getting a little sneak peek of some stuff in the collection. Just to show you some versatility of this polish, you know, different ways that you can wear it. But if you wanna wear it um, to make it look more like how the polish looks in the bottle, just layering it up on its own is really, really beautiful. So you do have a lot of options with this polish and hopefully I'm giving you um, a similar look to what that original polish kind of had a feel of but the problem with um, last Friday night is it's so sheer that it looks like it's going to be blue on in the bottle but when you put it on your nail you're just barely tiny getting a tiny tiny bit of that blue jelly so I'm actually going to show you a side by side in just a second right here the final swatch I'm doing for you is two coats over moonshine manny all about that base opacity boosting base coat as you can see you're getting quite a bit of coverage there so here i have for you three coats on my natural nails there on the left hand side and then next i'm going to have a comparison post for you and if you want to pause and look at that longer it's going to go by real quickly but that's how they look in comparison to each other okay we're gonna get started with the Ono Hawaii collection which launches this Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time I'm gonna go in alphabetical order through the collection starting with charcoal guava pancakes so I actually had charcoal pancakes while I was in Hawaii um, if you haven't heard me talk about this collection yet basically um, I had a lot of delicious food in Hawaii. It was really, really fun. And when I got home, I was inspired by the deliciousness and the bright colorfulness of all of the yummy treats that I had while I was in Hawaii. So this is a charcoal linear holographic base. It has very strong shifty shimmer, as you can see, which is going through purple, blue, gold, and green, and kind of a, a reddish shade. Here shows a lot of the colors of this shift. That's two coats on my nails. Here's an outdoor shot so you can see the hollow. It also has some multi-chrome flakies in there. There's there's a lot of stuff going on so that one is super fun next we have dragon fruit sorbetto and I do have pictures for you as you can see of the inspiration dish that inspired um, each polish and this one was inspired by a super bright almost neon looking sorbetto so I have this lovely fuchsia neon for you with these little matte black glitters in a few different sizes and it gets pretty opaque at just one coat but I swatch everything in two coats, so I want to show you how it looks. This one really packs a punch on the nail. It's so bright and fun, and hopefully you can get that kind of tangy, 
um, really, really bright flavor of that sorbetto. Such a fun, refreshing treat on some of our hot walks we had. Next, of course, I was inspired by Hawaiian Shave Ice. This is a Hawaiian Rainbow Shave Ice and it was the name of the actual dessert that I got. And so I wanted to um, create a white curly, but I needed it to be soft enough in formula that you could see all these delicate iridescent flakies that I put in there because the dessert that I had was red blue and yellow in coloration so I wanted to add those colors in here both in this really cute little glitter mix that I created and in the flaky so this is two coats of Hawaiian rainbow shave ice and then for my final swatch there I did three coats on this image but you could probably get away with two coats especially if you're using the all about that base opacity boosting base coat next is the Li Hing pineapple this is probably Tim's favorite treat that we had there we got pineapple like pretty much every time we stopped to eat anywhere and they have this delicious like spice uh, topping to add to the fruit specifically for the pineapple it's like a plum spice it's supposed to be kind of sweet and sour almost but it just enhances the flavor of the pineapple so beautifully and not like incredibly int intensely it's kind of a subtle enhancement so i have a pineapple Crelly finish for you with a strong red pink glow and you also have some multi-chrome and iridescent flakies in here so that's three coats of Li Hing pineapple again you could always use the opacity booster base coat next we have pesto macadamia nut sunrise and this is inspired by a day after whale watching that I had some pesto um macadamia nut spaghetti basically for my breakfast so i wanted to make a sunrise kind of color in the shimmer it's going from a strong pink gold green and there's a little bit of fuchsia in there and then you have the macadamia nuts represented in those little tiny glitters there was like this rich kale and spinach in the dish as well so i have the darker multi-chrome flakies in there this also has linear hollow there's a lot going on in here i really loved this dish it was like exactly what i was needing after getting my uh, feet back on solid ground that day so that was a super fun meal next we have ube soft serve and this was so delicious i stopped at this lady's stand that she had on the street as we were taking one of our walks and um i just had this super super yummy ube soft serve it was so good and i had like some add-ins that included some blueberries and granola but i wanted to represent this super dark vibrant kind of indigo shade and the little bits that were in it and so I added these teal navy violet multi-chrome flakies. They're actually the same ones that are in pesto macadamia nut to represent that. And I think I kind of hit it right on the nose. I really love how vibrant this one looks. It's super, super great. Last up, we have the bonus add-on. So every month in my collection, I have a bonus add-on for you, which you will receive for free if you're ordering within the first 48 hours. This is hula pie and was my favorite thing that I ate while I was in Hawaii. It was a delicious decadent resort, uh, dessert with delicious like brownie cookie underneath this macadamia nut ice cream. It was incredible. This is a dark fudgy chocolate to red multi-chrome shifty shimmer in the base and it has reflective silver glitter as you can see so kind of giving this beautiful reflective velvety appearance when you um, have it under like flash lighting is when that really shows up so this shows you the shift you'll be receiving this polish for free if you're ordering the complete collection through sunday at 9 a.m pacific standard time march 13th and that's gonna be it for the ono hawaii collection I've been out and about running errands today and I have on my sunglasses that I got while I was in Hawaii and hope you've been able to feel a little bit of the fun that we had while we were there through these polishes. Don't forget if you're wanting to get that bonus add-on to shop before Sunday morning the 13th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if you want to get that hula pie for free with your collection purchase. I am so glad that you stopped by to hang out with me today and hear a bit about what these foodies did in Hawaii and learn about the new collection. I will see you back for another video very soon. Take care. Bye.